What does more mean to you? Is it tracking your favorite sports teams? Or maybe it's watching your favorite music videos online. Why not get it all? More happens on Bermuda's only 4G network. Get more from your wireless company. Cell One, the power of more. Hello and welcome to News Bite, the Bermuda Sun's weekly news wrap-up for Friday, August 31st. Brought to you in association with Cell One, I'm Michaela Pearman. It's News Bite's first anniversary today, but more on that later. First, our top stories. This CCTV photo shows the terrifying moment a masked gunman allegedly tried to fire into a crowd at Woody's. It's believed he was holding an automatic weapon, which may have malfunctioned. No one was injured. Police released the image to try to identify the man. Officers also arrested four people in connection with the incident. They sent the CCTV footage overseas for digital enhancements. If police arrested people for all of Bermuda's outstanding warrants, court would have to be held at the National Stadium. Senior Magistrate Archibald Warner told me yesterday there are more than 2,000 outstanding warrants in the magistrate's court system, the majority for traffic offenses and there just aren't enough resources to sort them out. But don't think this means you can get away with your unpaid tickets. Warrants don't have an expiration date. Former white supermarket staff are furious because the company closed and they allegedly were not paid. Nothing in wages for the last two weeks of work. Some of the 85 staff in the three stores had worked there for more than a decade, but still haven't received redundancy pay. Our Raymond Haney reports the closure came without warning from bosses and now some former workers can't afford their rent. The death of Neil Armstrong has us all thinking about how the moon landing was a giant leap for mankind. And several Bermudians played a vital role in the Apollo 11 mission. At the Cooper's Island tracking station, they watched with bated breath as Neil Armstrong made history. Telemetry tech Robert Burgess was there. You're sitting with anxiety waiting to find out whether or not this spacecraft is going to lift off from the moon or the man are going to be stuck in that thing forever. And that was a very anxious moment. Armstrong died last Saturday at the age of 82. I hope you're ready for the long weekend. The BIU is hosting several events for Labor Day, starting tonight with a banquet featuring Antigua and Barbuda Prime Minister Baldwin Spencer. A church service at St. Paul's and a picnic at Shelley Bay will be held on Sunday. Monday celebrations under the theme Trade Union Rights Under Attack include the annual March, Labor Day greetings by dignitaries, and races. In other news this week, the Veen Dam paid its final visit to Hamilton this week and some retailers say the loss could devastate their businesses. The owner of Juice and Beans told our Simon Jones the ship makes up 40% of their weekday revenue. Meantime, Tourism Minister Wayne Fabert is fighting with online commenters. We broke the story at BermudaSun.bm. The minister says people who post vile comments about Bermuda are spitting on the country. And readers of the Bermuda Sun were upset to learn that Dockyard's historic painted ship crest will be destroyed. Planners are making way for low-cost housing. In sports, athlete Jessica Lewis makes her Paralympic Games debut on Sunday. She's the first Bermuda wheelchair athlete in track. The 19-year-old is competing in the 100, 200, and 400-meter races. She told our Dawn Burgess she hopes to motivate other athletes with disabilities. The weather's supposed to be fair this weekend, but there might be hazardous surf later on as Tropical Storm Leslie moves closer. For the 17th year, sand sculptures will be out with their buckets and spades at Horseshoe Bay. The annual sand sculpture competition is tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 4. And on Sunday, Jamaican reggae artist Jamali is the headliner for the City of Hamilton's Labor Day celebrations. The events start at 1 p.m. on Dundonald Street and continue until midnight in Victoria Park. Now, time to celebrate our anniversary. Thanks to our sponsor, Cell One, for all your support during the first year of News Bite. And thanks to Marketplace for this delicious birthday cake. That's all for this week. We'll leave you with more video from the 1969 moon landing. Catch me on channel 82 over the weekend. For these stories and so much more, visit bermudasun.bm. News Bite was brought to you in association with Cell One. I'm Michaela Pearman. See you next Friday.
liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Shadow. Four forward, drift into the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward, just. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Rocket Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn <laughs> We're pretty busy for a Armstrong is on the moon, yeah, Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon. On this July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. What does more mean to you? Is it tracking your favorite sports teams? Or maybe it's watching your favorite music videos online. Why not get it all? More happens on Bermuda's only 4G network. Get more from your wireless company. Sell One, the power of more.